first time in his career. Boom! How could you not see that coming? That's what you knew he had. Right on the tip of the chin. But that's what we say. In what I tell you. What I tell you. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> I'm your host, Emmett of the Artist. And if you saw my last video, go back. Look at the thumbnail. Garcia wins. And I'm going to tell you. I tell you, like I told you then, I'm going to tell you why now. One, hell of a fight. Two, that ref saved a much earlier knockout because Devin Haney was not getting up from that knockdown, or at least not making out of that round. That ref in that round, I think he even got nervous. I think that even the gravity of the, the fight got in on him, right? Props to Jay, the trainer, Garcia's trainer. Played no games with him during the corner. Basically, like, he was running that show. And Garcia would have had Haney out of there. Early. Early, I mean 7th, 8th, ninth round. He was just inactive. And, by the way, that's I'm wearing the everything is fine shirt. Because that's what was happening <laughs> in Haney's corner. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything wasn't fine. If, if Devin Haney's jaw or orbital bone on the bottom here isn't broken, it's a miracle. Um, it's an early Christmas miracle. A lot of people did not give Ryan Garcia, not, it's, even I don't like his antics outside the ring. I don't. I'm not all, all for all of that, and I think he's doubling down on that um, on that, that new persona he has, and, and I hate it. But in the ring, I kept telling people, that's the real Ryan Garcia. That's the not weight drink. Tank was smart to say 136, dehydration, rehydration clause. Not saying that that's what would have happened to Tank, but that fight would have been much closer. Tank knew. Tank said, oh, hell to the no. You, you ain't catching me out there like that. And that's what happens. Now, Ryan is a better fighter than what he, you see there. He could have finished him, but he, he was inactive in, a lot of the round, in, in the middle of a lot of the rounds. And I was wondering why. Even in the 12th round, he gave that round away, and I was wondering why. Now, if all the other judges would have seen it as the first judge, 112-112, that was Ryan's own fault because he gave away that 12th round. That 12th round being given away is what would have got him the unanimous decision on all scorecards. But the fact that he took that round off for no reason whatsoever because he could have gone. You know, people are going to say, but but Amity, what about the three pounds difference? Surely that's why he was able to knock him down that many times. Yes and no. Not where you think. It has nothing to do with the fact that he was gaining three pounds and he had heavier hands. No. It's the conditioning. He didn't have to kill himself to take off those three pounds, kind of like what Devin Haney needed to do. That was strategic. He knew, hey, listen, I'm going to pay the 1.5, but I'm going to get it back in the end, right? Pay-per-view and all of that stuff. And on the rematch, I'm going to really make that money. Because now if he wants to rematch and run it back, you think 45, 55 was the split? This is going to be 25, whatever the math is. All right, listen, whatever. It, it, this, this shows you right now, titles mean shit in boxing, okay? They don't mean nothing. There's too many belts. Nobody cares. We just want to see the fights, right? We want to see super, duper, extraordinary championship belts. Nobody cares. Franchise, franchise, unfranchisable, whatever. They mean nothing in boxing. You get the right matchups. You get the right fights. Now everybody thought this fight was going to be... Oh, also, by the way, Devin Haney, he's a dog. He was still going forward knowing he was going to get knocked out. That's a dog. All hats to Haney. I didn't think he had it in him. I think he would start running. Now, he did hug a lot. He did hug a lot, but you would too if you're going to hit that hard. Broken jaw, possibly. Props to Haney. Should there be a rematch? Yes. Should it be a 140? No. Go up north, 147, another super fight. Put it on the West Coast where Ryan's from. You want to make that money, Ryan? That's where you go. Ryan's, gonna, Ryan's is raking up the money, never had a title in his life. That tells you right there. Belts don't mean nothing. All you guys are saying... You know, Crawford shouldn't be fighting Boots. This is a big reason why he should have fought Boots when he's fighting some triple T move, triple G, whatever that guy is. Because he thinks that belts still matter when they damn sure don't. But anyway, I picked him by knockout. I didn't get that. I almost did, though. Got a decision. Whoever did that bet. Woo! Anyway, let me know in the comments down below. Should I get a rematch? Did you did you pick Garcia by knockout or decision? Did you think Haney was going to do better than this? Did you think this was the outcome of the fight all along? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one, and I'm out. Peace.